What's cracking? What's cracking? What's cracking, man? With all my real ones out there, it's your boy Armin with Real Talk. I thought I'd make this video real quick, man. I came to my mother's house for some barbecue, bro. It's nice and nice and sunny in LA this time of the year, man. But uh, with that being said, hope you guys are staying blessed out there. We're gonna get into this whole Draymond Green and um, you know Jordan Poole situation, man. His father, you know Draymond Green, recently talked about the incident, man, and um, he said that you know typically you know he doesn't he doesn't hit a man for no for no reason. And, you know, sometimes shit boils up or men, um, you know, they say things that, you know, there's no turning back at that moment. And, you know, you got to do what you got to do as a man. Now, Jordan Poole's father took to Twitter, man. He kind of, I, maybe he didn't like the fact that Draymond Green brought up the incident again. Um, I don't know. Maybe he, he was still pissed off about it and he decided to say, say, you know, say what he had to say. And he tweeted out that he's a soft ass B word. Draymond Green, um, Anthony Poole did, Jordan Poole's father, called him a soft-ass B-word, bro, and um, pretty much said that uh, he avoided him all of all of last season. And we all know now Jordan Poole is with the Washington Washington Wizards, so he, you know, he, he moved on from the Warriors. Now, Draymond Green responded back, bro, uh, pretty much saying, you know, uh, how could I have avoided you all of last year when I got to get to the family room? And in simple words, bro, you know, don't say, don't say shit that, you know, you can't turn back from, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean? I guess calling them the B word. Now, uh, uh, Anthony Poole, Jordan Poole's father did say he could meet me anytime, any place. I guess, you know, uh, he wants to throw those hands with Draymond Green because he feels like Draymond Green owed him and his wife an apology, bro. What I feel about this, man. <sighs> Man, I guess the only two people that really know what happened is Jordan Poole and Draymond Green, bro. And maybe a selected few that, you know, were there or they're close people that they told the story to. I'm not here to um, put words in anyone's mouth or, or you, you know, I'm just here to give my two cents and and what I feel like. I feel if a, and all of us, at least men, we can we can relate to this shit. I feel, you know, growing up or even now today, it don't matter. If another man comes up to us and, and, and calls us a bitch, bro, you know, at least me, man, you know, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a be ready to fight, bro. I'm going to be ready to fight. That's that's something that, you know, as a man, it, it is it is something that, that um, you're trying to mess with our step on our pride, our honor, our principles, you know, how we stand and how we carry ourselves as men, uh, as men, we don't, we don't want another man to ever approach us and call us a call us the b word bro you know what i'm saying um if that was the case if indeed um jordan Poole did call draymond green the b word another thing bro i heard that he was calling them broke and all the, all this cr crazy shit like you know I, I if if that is the case now i'm not i'm not you know saying jordan Poole said that or didn't say that i'm just giving my my opinion on what i hear a whole bunch of people saying on the internet a lot of people said he called them the b word a lot of people said he called them broke we all know jordan Poole got that nice nice deal and you know he kind of didn't play up to play up to the part i feel and a lot of people feel as well but man you know who am i to hate on that man that man got paid good for him bro he put himself in the situation made it to the league put himself in the situation to get that paper now if he did call draymond green broke bro i still feel that is out of pocket if that is the case I will never, um, I will never, especially a teammate or someone in the same field, you know what I mean, going and ins insult another man uh, for their bank account, man. I look at, I look at the man first, and I look at their character and how they carry themselves, you know what I mean? Because somebody could, somebody could have a million dollars, like I say, but if they're a piece of shit then to me, honestly, they're just a piece of shit with a million dollars. It could be a hundred million. You have a hundred million, you know, if you carry yourself like a mark, bro, and you're just, you're just not a righteous man, you're not a stand-up individual, I don't care what you have, bro. So I look at the man before I look at the bank account and the occupation, bro, which I feel a lot of people, you know, have kind of stepped away from all that. Nowadays, people people look at you if, if you're a solid dude or a good dude with how much money you have, but you could be the biggest piece of shit dirtbag on the face of this planet, bro. Um, you know what I mean? And, and it wouldn't matter because so many people are focused on 
how much money other men have, which I think is corny as hell, man. We need to start judging. Uh, I mean, we shouldn't even really judge, but I feel like we need to start seeing, seeing and paying attention how men carry themselves and the type of man they are, bro. Instead of, you know, acting like some some hoes, man, out, out here, bro, straight up hoe shit, trying to focus on how much money uh, money a man has in his bank account before we, we judge him as the person he is and the individual, how he carries himself, bro. Like I said, you could have $100 million. If you're no good, you're trash. To me, I don't care, bro. You're just trash. You're just trash with a lot of money, bro. I guess, you know, you know, I, I mean, there's no other, there's no other way for me to put this, bro. Now, if those are the situations, bro, now what I feel, what I feel, what I feel about his father, um, uh, Jordan Poole's father calling out Draymond Green to fight. Um, come on, OG. Like, the situation happened. It is what it is. I guess he did sucker punch your son. Your son maybe should have reacted. For whatever reason, he didn't react. I'm sure they had a conversation behind closed doors. There's no way they were teammates. And it got settled like that, bro. You know what I mean? Like, you can't go back a year later and try to fight, you know, your son's battles. Now, now I understand as a father, you know, your son, that's always your cub, man. You're always going to want to protect your son. You're always going to want to have your son's best interest. And as a father, it for sure would feel, you know, as a father, you would feel some type of way if, you know, you've seen somebody just sucker punch your son, especially how viral it went and your son didn't react. I guess, you know, your ego could get bruised like that. But, you know, move on, man. Jordan Poole's, you know, making a lot of money. Draymond Green just signed that big-ass contract, bro. I think for 100 mil or whatever. And, um, and you know, you, 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 just, you just move forward, man. You move forward, you know. What, what happened, happened. You know, Jordan Poole should have reacted at that moment if he, if, you know, if he felt the need that he should have reacted for whatever reason he didn't react man should have reacted the next day or the following day and he didn't bro now as far as do i feel draymond green owes um jordan Poole's father and his uh, jordan Poole's mother an apology it all depends bro it really all depends like i said i don't know 100 percent what happened what happened so i can't say that i'm just talking based on what i hear pretty much everyone and their mama saying you know he called them the b word and called them broke now, if you did call him the B-word and he got punched for it, bro, I don't feel he owes anybody an apology, just to be honest with you. And if he did pretty much say he's broke and try to clown this man, um, you know, clown this man's bank account, which this man is a big-time millionaire, plays in the NBA, even if he didn't, man, you're trying to clown another man's bank account, I still don't feel that, um, that he, you know, needs to apologize for that, if that's the reason. Um, any other reason? I don't know, man. If those are the reasons, I do not feel Draymond Green really needs to apologize, bro. And I feel everybody should move forward. I understand his father, you know, is just trying to defend his son. This is in the past. The year has passed, bro. Jordan Poole should have done something that day or the following day or or within that month even, man. Let's, let's stretch it a month, which he didn't, bro. Which he didn't. And, you know, for whatever reasons, he knows his reasons. Who am I, you know... Who am I to say, you know, what he should have done or shouldn't have done? I feel like if I said something to a man and I was out of pocket and I got punched in my face like that, you know, even if I knew I'm going to get my ass whooped, I'm going to get my ass whooped, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw hands, though, bro, because I'm not going to just let that shit slide like that. I'm not trying to act like I'm a tough guy. I'm not out here trying to look for fights and look for no bullshit. But, you know, just getting punched in the face, bro, unless I'm knocked out or something, bro. But if someone just sucker punches me in the face, I'm going a, I'm to a react, bro. I'd rather get my ass whooped than just get punched in the face and stand there and say, you know, what the fuck, this, that. So with that being said, man, I say we all move forward for, from this situation. Whatever happened, happened. Draymond Green and Jordan Poole know best what happened. You know, Draymond reacted how he reacted. And Jordan Poole chose to react how he uh, chose to react. I just say, you know, I wish both of them good luck. Hope both of them continue making a lot of money. I'm not here to hate on nobody. Just giving my two cents. Hope you guys have a blessed day out there. Be careful. Be safe. Uh, strive for greatness, man. Don't, you know, let's all try to stay away from negativity and try to all, um, you know, be, be better people, be more successful uh, mentally, spiritually, and financially, man. Let's go out there and fucking get it. Like I said, nothing in this world is impossible, man. I hope to see you guys um, all winning with me on this journey. If you're not subbed, sub. 
like if you're liking these videos comment man with that being said it's armin and i'm gonna see you guys on the next video blessings to everyone we out of here yeah